Where's the camera? Breaking, sir. Well, right. well, welcome sorry, to I... the, welcome to the everyday, Hello, well, happening? everyday beam struggle. Oh, we do here. good <laughs> intro. W intro. W intro. W intro. Well, we've been gone for a few days, right? And um, you know, we had WrestleMania. We had Easter. Is that it? That's it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And now we're about y'all, but a, moving. a fellow named and I was moving through the entire day of Easter. <laughs> I, I mean, up and I, Easter was over. I feel like, I feel like That's impressive. And Easter are on the same level of importance for sure. So I like the fact that you mentioned them like together type. These are just facts, bro. Like, 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 like not what you said, but what I said, bro. Is this the order operation? <laughs> thank you for the two months, man. Really appreciate that. Also, thank you for the hype channel. Yo, Max, thank you for the, for the resub as well. I feel like, you know, I'm saying God coming back and, you know, WrestleMania kind of, you know. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, Hold on. And Crazy. Cody Rhodes died for our sins. Right. What, do you, what, do you, what do you think about it? That's what they died for. <laughs> <laughs> Who had the Undertaker shit ready? Um, no, nah, but <laughs> why is he like this? Why? But yeah, we're gonna have a few other uh homies trinkle in it. Bro, All right, ooh. nigga. Damn, me, nigga. Oh, my, my, my fault, bro. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, damn, back, back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's him. He's it's missed that. four podcasts. We do have Balvin back. back. You've been gone for a while, bro. I'm Welcome back. back. Welcome back, someone, bro. Someone shoot right. him. All right. <laughs> Glad to have you back, King Sir. You, you mean you mean your intro? You you had like yeah. three Undertaker like inserts. It's your turn. Like, what are we starting talking about, bro? T talk to me. Exactly, bro. Exactly, bro. Don't step up to the fucking plate if you're not ready to cook, my nigga. That's all it is. That's all it is, bro. Whoa, bitch nigga was crazy. Bitch nigga was crazy. No, no, no. You ain't gonna punk me. All right, go on. Anyways, 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 at WrestleMania, Jesus came back. All right, all right. Hey. We had a point in the beginning, I guess, uh, the pre before the beam started about uh, Omega was watching Hunter Hunter again. And we kind of started talking about shows that then become cool to hate on later because they're mainstream. With that being said, I've been seeing something that you guys might have seen, too, of some hate that I need to understand. Understood to me if any of you guys feel this way. But have y'all been seeing this random aggressive slander for Dragon Ball Super movie? Like, have y'all been seeing that? No. You haven't? No. Niggas? No. Really? Super movie? The, the Broly, 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 Broly Super Movie. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh. I not, say, I, I've been seeing you, mad man. niggas say that the Super Movie is like the, the best one. I, I, I forget, up. I forget it's Super Heroes, Super, yeah, but. Me, su super Hero is way better than Broly, I don't give a fuck. No, we had I'm this combo now. already. We know how y'all yeah, feel why? about that. Wait, did, oh, we, we did have this combo, but was it on Beam already, or was this It was like after, it was like in the post Beam. Was this post Beam Depression? Yeah, it might have been post Wait, wait, do we talk about, you guys talk about the Broly shit? Yeah, yeah, they got they got into it a little bit on their differences in this. Oh, kind of sort of. Oh, well, right, right, right back, right back. I, I was gonna say okay, there's back. been more discourse about it now, but we had a conversation about our own personal opinions on the two movies because Omega really likes superhero a lot more, and I think Broly's way better. And it got into a whole conversation about what we want from Dragon, but like we we can get into it now because like these you know the audience here they, yeah. they ain't catch that. Uh, so before we get onto it though i do think both movies are good second like Agreed. completely completely random thing afro if you don't flip your camera horizontally i'm gonna kill myself oh <laughs> fuck my fault <laughs> nah, i actually nah. it's supposed to be horizontal i this is for another thing go on go on <laughs> no i want you to flip it so that way you're, you're yeah you're, you're right you're right it was direction. supposed to be like that i gotta flip oh, it back to normal you reminded okay, I got, me okay, got, got you, got yeah, you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, right, all right so uh the reason why i think superhero is better than broly is because it feels more like like an actual like movie to me with like an actual like plot and like characters like doing their thing like it kind of feels like it kind of feels like i could see that shit being like on some disney or pixar type movie type shit whereas like broly i feel like for the first like hour or whatever i'm just kind of like all right whatever and then 45 minutes is is the fight and then after that like it's it's that's all it is it's just it's just the fight and to me i don't know i need a little more than that i'm gonna be for real what what are you whatever about in the beginning i don't understand like like is this like a yeah like bardock and then we get the broly origin shit and it's isn't that not interesting after seeing the other broly no. movies no bro me, it is to me <laughs> yeah that's crazy nah. that's interesting because like, okay. the whole point of that is to like lead up to like it shows like how they all got there like where you see like bardock and how like he does i guess his normal thing and it's like a lot of people didn't even see the dragon ball I feel, stuff. yeah i feel like Okay, so I guess that might be true. Like, I think if you already know what that is going into it, I think it's a little boring. I also think because of that, Broly is more boring on rewatch, whereas I think Superhero is just much better because the first half of Broly is like all like 
lore building and like exposition dump or whatever the fuck and then you get to like obviously like probably the the best fight in like anime history or whatever but before that it's just like damn i'm I'm kind of bored and i also feel like i do think the action and shit is better in broly but the action and shit in superhero is still gas and i feel like they sprinkle like fights and action sequences throughout the movie rather than having it all at the end like it feels like it feels like Broly's just kind of edging you the whole time and then finally lets you bust at the end. Whereas, like, superhero, like, you know, it's, it's then you get some of your nuts off throughout the, you know, throughout the movie. I like how, um, I think uh, Broly, to me, feels like, I don't want to say one big rushed arc, but, like, damn near, I like, feel that. it's like a whole, it, it like, is. Hey, lore, it could have been, one, yeah. There's yeah. lore, they come down, we fight, that's it. Whereas that could have been, like, a good 30 TV hours show. So Y'all be cool. Bro, Broly, that's it, right? yeah, that shit in like, Super would have went crazy. Like, oh, I, I think said, Super's like an actual yes, movie. Like you can like that, start that shit and be like, all right, this is that's Dragon a perfect Ball. Way to put it. Gohan, cool, be ass, we're good. That next, that that that's kind of I feel like Dragon Ball Super felt like, or Broly felt like a couple anime episodes put together. Superhero felt like a movie. Yeah, okay, I, I think I think I think I personally like I liked Broly more, but I think. A, the other one's better as a movie. I think we all can go. Well, we can kind of come as here a that movie, sure. Yeah. Because I think, like, because again, when you look back on the Broly movie, like, again, I enjoyed all of it on the first watch. But if I were to watch it again, I would not give a shit to see Broly on this planet again. I really don't see. Care. Okay, like, right. but it's 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 because it's just simple and it's it's not bad. I just like watching it again. I'm like, eh, this is good on the first watch. But I feel like this, like as a substance, I don't really care. I feel like the payoff is way that, better in Broly than it is in Super, though. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and like, and like, I, I, really, I, I have okay, a question no, for Omega. Another, wait, wait, no, yeah, go yeah, ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because you you said it sounded like you're judging Super based off of a rewatch than the initial watch. What, like Broly? Yeah, the, when you're kind of talking. Mean, I mean, even when I first watched Broly, I didn't think it was like too crazy, but. Nah, I, when I, I first think watched, when I first watched crazy. Broly and I still stand by it, I was like, "This is the greatest Dragon Ball." Broly, when I, I, yeah, I, 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 I think Spider Verse came in and Rhyme and Afro came into Discord. It's like, all right, Yo, but man, but you you, like, you have yeah, to no, no, understand. Wait, 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 wait. You it up for me, bro. Oh, oh, yeah, Omega, in, in, Omega, in, but listen, in, but listen, in, 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 you you defense, have to understand. They had the whole LA premiere. Yeah, we had the LA premiere, bro. Sean Schimmel was there. All the people were there. It was a whole different bro. Everybody, everybody thought the whole movie. <laughs> every everybody thought the whole movie was screaming, yelling, laughing. To every bro, it was it was crazy. I'm, I'm it it was crazy. Okay. I don't. Ooh, I might get murdered for this. Okay, oh, so no. I I think Broly is a better movie. Before I say what I'm about to say, Broly is much better. Oh, this is crazy. But what you about to say? I was way more hype off the experience of Battle of Gods than Broly. That's insane. Okay, but I think this, but I think this, I think you, I give you a little bit of leeway because that was like the first movie in a exactly. while. It's like, oh my god, I was gonna say, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll give you that. And and in theaters, when Goku hit the, I will not let you destroy my world. That was crazy. Let him cook. 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 If you were if you were not in the theater day one of Battle of Gods dropping, you can't have a. You're not in this conversation. Yeah, yeah, that's valid. I feel like. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like age plays into this, right? Because if you're younger, I don't think Battle of Gods would have hit as hard for you. No, like, you know like, what? Like, Broly would have. You, you, you know what did hit being in the theater for that is I was watching dads with their sons in that theater, like, right? Out, and they were both. I took my, I took my, I took so my, si I took my youngest sibling and two of my cousins I grew up with to go see that. That was our first time hanging out like since like ten years. I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I think I gotta agree with Omega, bro. Because now I'm I, thinking I, I, about I, I, it, when, when that because I watched it in IMAX day one, and when bro, Goku bro. hit the, I will not will not let you destroy yeah. my world, bro. And the sound, the music drop. Oh my right, gosh, bro. Yeah, the, the music was going that, crazy oh. during that shit. Too. Now re remember when Vegeta teed off on Beerus? Bro? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. that shit was crazy. I'm not. But at the same time, though, I remember when like Gogeta like trans when Gogeta showed up on the screen, and it was like holy shit, the entire That's, theater yeah. was going nuts too. I'm gonna That's say to, to, I'm gonna say to, to Omega's point, I think this is why the rewatch thing's kind of important with anime films, especially Dragon Ball, is because it's not that the first time I watched Broly, I was like, oh, this is boring. I was hyped to just see Broly exist again and get right. backstory on him. Like this, not a, yeah. this, this, this is fire. But then watching it back, it's not like I say it's not bad watching it back. But when you watch it back, I think objectively to me, it's just like, oh, it's really basic, you know, planet. You're, you're waiting for the fight. 
Exactly. You're, you're trying to get to the fight on the, whenever you're watching it, like with no other emotions right. behind it. You know what I mean? Well, I, I, I really, I really like the character to character moments throughout superhero. Like seeing like Super had I, everything. I, I loved like Piccolo going on his little like spy mission or whatever. Me too. Know, that, was, that was that was fire. I love that. That, yeah, that yeah. was fire. But I think, but I, I think it really, it, it really depends on what you want from the movie. Yeah, though. that's true. I think that's, that's the most. Because I agree with you. I think all that like what would be would be filler to somebody. I think superhero was great, like front to back. Like and it was so, th and that's exactly why we have this difference in opinion. Yeah, because it is very much about what you want from the movie. Because for me, like, yeah, there's right. just little character moments and stuff in, in superhero, and I get that. And Piccolo doing this thing, and then the interactions with Pan, Pan and stuff. Even like when she gets kidnapped, quote unquote, <laughs> right, so and, and she beats up homie. It's great. like that, that's we, all we cool. We can all but, agree on Pan like the best character. Oh, no, I love like, yeah, Pan. Bro, he's so go. fucking yeah. cool, bro. I love Pan. Okay, However, for me. I don't really care about a lot of that shit in Dragon Ball. Like in the original Dragon Ball, like that's part of what I love so much, but I don't think it does it nearly as well now as it did back in the day. So like that's when I'm fair. watching when I'm watching Dragon Ball, I just want to see niggas throw hands. And Same. I think Broly that's has fair. two of the greatest fights in all of Dragon Ball and also like the coolest transformation scene ever. The the Beast Gohan scene in superheroes is is is, is lit. I ain't I ain't gonna cap. However, there is there is no harder scene in all of <laughs> Dragon Ball. Vegeta and Broly fighting each yeah. other, and then the camera spinning around Vegeta as he transformed to Super Nah, that nah. was hard. That, that, that was that's, hard. that's what. That's that is, why I that give. Is the, that is the toughest shit I've ever seen in Dragon. Follow Ball, up bro. point: Does the Super movie have Frieza getting his ass kicked for an hour? <laughs> <laughs> that was also funny as fuck. <laughs> that, I, just, out here trying to figure out this how dare you? shit. I am just <laughs> mink, 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 mink. <laughs> bro, that shit was great. That shit was great. That, that's that's why I think like whenever they, like these movies come up, I never let Broly like get talked down on because it's really hard to have like to me forty five minutes of just pure action and it's not like oh this is boring. Like the fights were like so crazy how that they would change in like every environment from like the iceberg shit to whenever everything got blown up. Then Gogeta comes out and they and they fucking break a dimension and are fighting in a different realm for like ten uh, seconds. Bro. That shit like, was be epilepsy. <laughs> that that yeah that shit was OD. It wasn't it was like crazy. Yeah, they weren't dummy. Another thing to me though is like I agree the action set pieces and all that are way better in Broly, but I think it I think a lot of what superhero like might get ruined for a lot of people is how they feel about Cell Max. I fucking loved Cell Max. I I thought like I really liked how like terrifying they made that nigga feel. Like not terrifying in the way of like being scared of like Broly's strength, but like terrifying as in like like genuine like like Almost you know like what it, some horror shit. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of like Shin Godzilla kind of stuff. Right, like, exactly. Like, 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 like Japan's version of Godzilla, the big yes. monsters that are not like, he's not just cool. He's like, he's scary. He, he's a, yeah. he is just like monster that just wants to destroy things. Bro, and the Beast Gohan trans, I know we, we were talking about that a little bit, but the Beast Gohan transformation with like Cell Max like getting hit back and like letting out that scream. Oh my God. I don't and know. That kind of like, hey, him, him in, doing the- Call back to Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan. Bro, and yes. The, yeah. Him I doing the fucking, uh, the fucking special beam cannon was crazy. Dude, <laughs> like, not, that dude, shit bro, was fine. crazy. Um, well, yeah, I mean, well, I, one I, thing I low key wish that happened though, like I wish he went to that new form off of like something happening in the pan and Piccolo, because I don't know. I don't want to see nothing. Happen. I don't want to see Piccolo. Well, well, I, I, I don't want. I don't want to see. I don't want to see her like that. But like, but like you know, like like Piccolo was trying to like do a thing yeah, well, by like low key putting Pan well, in danger well, he, type shit. He thought something was wrong with her. He well, did. He did. Say, I don't he, know. He, he did. He did have a subtle moment with Pan. Like, that, Pan it got it him back to being like bullshit. But that's yeah, like but, but it got him to like Super Saiyan two though, right? It, or Ultimate Go on. Excuse me. Got him to, better to Ultimate Go on. So I think Pan got him to Ultimate, and then Piccolo damn near dying. His dad dying was like, oh, yeah, I'm about to lock in. I think superheroes way more like I feel like there's two different types of Dragon Ball fans. Like there's obviously like the Z, and then there's like Ball fans. Where like Ball, if you watch Ball from start to finish, it's very character driven. It's all about like the friends Kid Goku makes along the way. Where like Z is it's almost like, to the point where it's like fighting porn, and I feel like at least superhero is way more in the line of like OG Dragon Ball, where it's a lot more character based. You're getting like those small uh, beats, like intercharacter personal relationships and shit. Sorry, I'm dying. I'm in a little smash right now. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I feel I, like no, I I agree. I just love I just gamma. I I agree, and I'm somebody who actually oh, prefers gamma's, the original yes. the original Dragon Ball over well, same, Dragon same, same, same. Ball Z. But yeah. I just I just don't think superhero as a movie is 
as good I, as like the original Dragon Ball or I does that, to go, that, that, those types of things. Before well we like start talking about that, I wanted to go back to Cell Max real quick because I see a lot of people in the chat saying like, oh, like that Cell Max ain't like I Cell don't like Cell Max, by the way. Like, okay, okay that, that's valid. Fine. That's valid. But like, I think like people that wanted Cell Max to be like Cell Cell, like, I don't know why, like. Well, no, that, that wouldn't be even worse to me. Yeah, like, right? Like, I feel like, like. It, that that's Bring not oh, that's not cell cell so trash bro so yeah. so part like, of the part real. of the reason why i don't like cell max is because it's just dragon ball doing it again where oh my god we're bringing somebody back and you can even say that for broly but that's part of what also gives me or what gives broly extra bonus points and brownie points for me because even as a kid and definitely as an adult i've never liked z broly and i didn't like two out of the three broly movies the first time i was like okay the very least you got the my skin is good that shit is hard as fuck, <laughs> to, the, to this day that's just still be getting me geeked right but I, I never liked z broly as a character so for them to like basically redo his character and his story in, in that movie i'm like oh i actually like him now he's actually look like dbs bro is actually really cool i like him a lot yeah i even like playing him in dbz and i i don't even fucking like grapplers but dbs broly is just so cool that i actually enjoy the character right whereas in superhero it's like okay here we go again like rehashing a villain again or like reviving a resurrect you know what i'm saying and it's this time it's so I, I get that but i didn't see cell as like cell like, i i i treated him as like an, an entirely different entity and he's yeah. not and, and and you're right to do so but it's just like why even bother at that point like, i could well, have I, 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 I think no, i think it's no. been a completely different name and a, and a yeah. different head and it would just really been i think well i think they had to do that to well, tie it back cell, to gohan like, they were using like, but, not, uh, yeah. but that's and that's why it's, it's just like, and, and it's, on the and nose and but but also they brought back the Redman Army, and that's like the whole thing with them, right? It's like and that was like Doctor Jerome's like prior exactly. So they, so they, so they, so, they, so I think like mind story. you, the Red the Red Ribbon Army has been eliminated like four times in Dragon Ball. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but like but I think but I think but I think, but I think, but I think, but I think, but I think it may I think it. I think it, but I think it makes sense for them to like if they're gonna bring an android like a, like the ultimate android cell was yeah, made I'm not, I'm not to be the it ultimate. Make sense. Sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think, but I think also, I did not agree with Omega. I didn't view like I know he had to sell name to it, but I'm looking at it from like this. This is just a piece of, uh, of of tech. Cell is just right. technology. And so it's like zombie. Yeah. And not exactly. to mention too, like Cell didn't even finish cooking. Like they let that nigga go early type shit. So like, who knows like what that actually could have been? So I just think that that Cell Max thing is like a, just a completely different like entity but i also see what lotus was saying oh yeah i get it i just yeah i, I totally get what lotus is saying it's just like, for me the reason why it didn't like bother me as much is because i don't whenever they bring cell back i separate cell the character versus like cell this like the blueprints yeah right you know and that's valid i guess if cell, if cell himself would have came back i would have not liked the movie Oh, that that would have been, been ass. That would have been, been ass. so garbage, garbage. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that would have been ass but a, a lot of my things with with superhero are like just we're just doing this again and in some and sometimes it gets me like the whole nostalgia baiting of the callbacks I'm like all right you got me that shit look how to tell y'all it, it would lose Maybe its it luster especially after what happened with frieza coming back it's like all right we're doing this we just rehashing all yeah, that can, can, can we can we like, agree that was the like worst super movie the same shit the frieza coming back one like oh, to me yeah. i think it's the worst one i don't I know, know do y'all agree i like at least for like a one-time bottle and like capture yeah. of lightning and shit, I feel like it's cool to bring back Freeze and like, oh shit, he's back. He's... Between between Battle of Gods, Resolution F, Broly, and yeah, yeah, all of them, all of them. F's the worst. I yeah. like I I, I like F because it lets me skip the anime. Fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. Still the worst. Because like yeah, I, 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 think... I think first watch, I I liked it a bit, but. I don't know that the ending felt a little, little too cheap to me. I, I really well, didn't like that ending. I agree. Well, actually, it's actually a Dragon Ball Z movie. It's Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, so it's not technically a super movie. I mean, the, the ending definitely is kind of cheap, but I, I mean, the ending of Superhero is also pretty bullshit. It's, oh my I god, was, Gohan oh, gets this bullshit power up again out of nowhere. <laughs> Yo, now the su superhero movie made me piss because we saw fucking Goten and Trunks fused and then and it was the, fucked us. Bro. Yeah. That was racist. <laughs> that, was that racist. one was crazy. That one was crazy. Uh, that was and, and that's racist. why I stopped liking Gotenks as I got older because I, as a kid, I'm like, oh, Gotenks is so fucking Man. cool. But growing up is realizing that Gotenks is a gag character. He's never going to actually do anything cool. They did that shit right. in GT too. There's a there's a part near the ending of GT where Goten's like, hey, Trunks, how about some fusion? And Goku's like, no, me and Super Saiyan 4, <laughs> give me energy. And I'm like, fuck you, dude. Like, what the fuck? Right. I, I want to yeah. see dog I was trying to watch. Talking about. Dude, I, I thought we were gonna see two <laughs> go I was about to go crazy, and then they fucking panned the camera away. <laughs> oh <my laughs> All right, but, but to be fair, Super Saiyan Four is hard as fuck. That true, bro. Y'all remind me of that part in GT where it was like, "Hey guys, you know we should we should have that fusion shot. I want to try it too." Like, I'm, I'm I'm good. I can't do it right now. 
It's like, yeah, no, I don't think I have the energy. It's like, nobody wanted to fuse with Uber. That shit was sad. Uber was like, I think, the worst <laughs> character in Dragon Ball history for, for GT's sake, bro. The only character that got a power up and then died. Like, it's, <laughs> it's sad as hell. Do we all agree Super Saiyan 4 and God top two yeah. transformations? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 is definitely number one. God is up there. I don't know if it's my number two, but it yeah, might I be. I think God's my favorite. I, I, I all like... I know is Blue is the worst. Oh, I for love sure. Super Saiyan I co-sign that. Mm. Um, I like Super three Saiyan a 4, lot. God and OG are I feel like I feel three. like three is mad polarizing, but I like three a lot. I like three a lot as a kid. As I get older, I like it less. I like I'm, I like I uh, UI Omen. I don't know why. Hair. With the black hair. Yeah. The black hair is better than the silver hair. Uh, kind of yeah. cringe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I get comparing uh, forms of super and shit, but what I, about platforms, bro? Have y'all like you know? Make a, sorry, I, I wanted to make a joke, but it's mean. I don't even believe it. But it's like that UI black hair form is the one where he doesn't change. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. But that's that's kind of the that, so that's my issue with Ultra Instinct is that Ultra Instinct isn't supposed to be a transformation yet. He literally transforms. There's, there's a whole technique. There, 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 there's a whole big explosion in the scene. The hair and eyes change color. It's like if UI is not a transformation, if it's not a new form, then it makes more sense for his hair to stay the same color. Plus, I just think it looks better than the silver hair anyway. With the with the like kind of. I, I'm I'm of the belief when this rumor was going around, I think they should have flipped it. Like silver hair should have been like he doesn't quite have it figured out yet, but he's close. And then black hair is like locked in because he's just hitting. That would have right? made way more sense. Yeah, and, yeah. And I and I, and I would have liked it a lot more. That's bro, like, like, like that shit would have made way more sense if they just skip blue, bro. Like, they, they just blue, like stick blue to God so and then go straight blue to Ultra so Instinct, bad. bro. It, it just shouldn't exist. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. By the way, I'll never understand why I was. I I do understand this because they didn't yeah. think that far ahead. But red hair should have just been Saiyan God and blue should have been Super Saiyan. He God, went but... red, then blue, then Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken. So he went back red again, man. That is yes. so fucked. <laughs> Dragon Ball is so trash. <laughs> it is. <laughs> now, speaking of Dragon Ball being trash, have y'all heard of this TFS hate on Twitter? Oh, good okay. one, good recovery. Because no, no, I wish for sure not rerunning my my segue back. I love the, I love you. Amazing. Yeah, you okay, so you know I've saying. been seeing this a lot on Twitter, and I've seen some people that are upset at Team Four Star. I have no qualms, no no issue at all. Well, with TFS. I, guess, we, I used to watch. We reiterate history. the beef first, but like, what what, what, what is the drama okay. exactly? So lately on Twitter, there are a lot of people who are starting to get up in arms because there are so many people in the in the Twitter space who think that shit from TFS is like canon in Dragon Ball or like that's where their knowledge of Dragon Ball comes from because they either didn't actually watch it or they're just mis misremembering. And there's some people who are like, you guys are idiots. And there's other people who are like, damn, you're blaming Team Four Star for like corrupting the Dragon Ball community. And I don't blame TFS, but I do think it's crazy just how many people are like using that as their reference for shit. Because there's like all these different arguments and, and debates that start on Twitter and a nigga will bring up a point that he thought he was cooking with. And then someone's like, nigga, that's from TFS. That's not, that's not actual Dragon Ball. And so that's that's basically where this is coming from. And I, I do know. think it's kind of crazy that like <laughs> people can create a parody that's like so ubiquitous in the culture and community that like it overtakes the original work for some people. Like that is fucking insane. I, I was about to say that. Like that's like I don't even know if you can well, consider that a compliment well, anymore. It's like something like in between, well, bro. It's crazy. Well, well, I, I kind of get it because it wasn't like a thing for like a while. That is well, true. And, that, and that's what I'm saying. Is like that was that TFS was going on like the abridged when like Dragon Ball Z wasn't as like it wasn't pop, active pop, at all. Was like, yeah, what, what, it, what, it was wasn't as active. So for some people, like that <clears throat> might have been their first, and in some cases, as we've seen on Twitter, their only exposure to Dragon Ball Z because, especially like you know, some of us we start to get a little bit older. You know what I'm saying? People you, who are like teenagers and shit, they probably only ever watched the Team Four Star version, you, or they watched that first. Do you think this is a case of people who like just saw TFS clips and thought it was DBZ, or do you think this is people who were legitimately trying to pirate DBZ on YouTube and just found TFS and was like, oh, this oh, is it? Uh, de de actually, definitely, definitely, definitely a combination both. of both. Definitely That's combination. hilarious. That's so it's hilarious. like, how the fuck did this happen? Like, I, I think I think some of it it's it's both of that, and I think some of it is also just people watch TFS and they just in their memory they just confuse what was parody and what was the actual story. I just don't understand how you can like turn on an episode of Team Four Star Dragon Ball Z Abridged and then be like, yeah, this is probably canon. Like, I just, I, what, what goes well, through because your head to do a that? Lot, a lot of it is grounded in like the canon. You know what I'm saying? Like, there, it, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's the, the abridged version of Dragon Ball is if Dragon Ball was self aware. So they make a lot of jokes based on it. So I get how people can get it confused and shit, but it's like at some, at one, at what point do you distinguish? I, I was going to say that, fiction from reality, but fiction from even though further a fiction. Of, <laughs> a lot of people don't like like Team Four Stars comedy, and, th and that's valid or whatever. 
But I will say this. They are very true to the characters. Like, nobody yeah. does something that I'm that's like, true. oh, they would not do that shit. Like, I, I was going to say. Funny, yeah. And, and, and that, that's my point. And that's what makes it so funny. Is yep. Like, yeah, I, I can see Vegeta doing some dumb shit like that. <laughs> yeah. But I, I also think a lot of this, like, a, a lot of what goes into this is, like, now the way that you're intaking this kind of content is different than whenever you were intaking it. Whenever Team Four Stars at its peak and episodes are coming out. Mm. Because now... Like, if you used to watch Team Four Star, you'd go to their YouTube channel and be like, hey, I'm watching a parody. Whereas now, a lot of clips get circulated on Twitter and there's no context whether the parody or not. Right. For example, I think because they do so good at the dubbing and the, like, the uh, uh, like the, the inside jokes, it, and... the lip flaps dubbing and how they, how true they are to the characters, I got got on, what, on one thing. And it's that clip from the Android 13 movie. With trunks, <laughs> and don't the, the, the haircut, the haircut clip. I hadn't seen fifty dollar haircut. Yeah, the, I, I hadn't watched that. I, I, I hadn't watched that movie in so long. I thought that Android Thirteen was cooking trunks like that. Like I thought he was saying that nigga's haircut was busted. I was, and I and I never went back and like checked until I just like, oh wait a minute, that's not real. But like, that's just I, funny though. Nah, but do, do y'all remember like when the uh the cell versus gohan tfs drop the that shit was a fucking movie yeah, bro I, I was definitely that shit was, back, that was, yeah back in the day i was keeping yep, up with yep. those episodes as they came out and i was watching the like recap joints after the, the after the episodes when they would they would drop a, a video showing like oh this is how we edited this this is how we did the lip flaps and all this rotoscoping and all this other shit not rotoscoping but you know what I'm saying, wait they saying it's real balvin shit. it can't be real nah it wasn't it wasn't Malvin? No, it's Was not it? real. It's not. It's not real. It's real G. No, it's not. It's not. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> I'll pull up. Matter of fact, hold on. I'll pull up. Nah, on, 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 on. Everybody, I love. I'm pulling up the movie right now. I'm pulling it up. Fifteen dollar haircut line. The thing on the haircut. I'm pulling up the film. I'm pulling the film right now. If it's real, I'm giving ten subs. Okay. Also, speaking of the Android, I'm pretty sure it was the Android 13 movie. The funniest shit. The thing that made me laugh the hardest of all time watching the TFS shit was in the Android 13 movie. It's when Android 13 has this nigga Goku hanging upside down hanging and punched this nigga in the dick. In his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get this. <laughs> what he's, did he say a lot? I don't even remember. I didn't see that one. I didn't see none of the movies. Bro, he is punching this nigga repeatedly. Where in the balls? Me. me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking stupid, bro. No, nah, bro, the scream Goku let out on the first fight. They did fast forward to the future and go to this. <laughs> I do remember that. Wait, did Goten disappear? So I do remember the flashback <laughs> to the future. That's crazy. So, oh my god! That's funny. I don't think I remember any quotables from that. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I don't remember no quotables from TFS, bro. I will always because clearly it's still very funny to me. Just remembering it—that um, was the hardest I ever laughed watching TFS, bro. Well, we could do that so, if we, we wouldn't so have good. like a TF suck off fest real quick. But uh, I had my my quotable. It was one of the first episodes I watched. Goku's charging the spirit bomb on Frieza, and Gohan and Krillin are watching from half a mile away, and Krillin is screaming to Gohan, "He's using the spirit bomb!" And Frieza <laughs> like, "What's going on over there?" He's like. Spirit Bob is the only thing that can defeat Frieza. <laughs> that was like my first TFS exposure. I remember crying at that. Oh my god. Yeah, a lot of the shit that I found funny was like at the moment and per my age. Like I don't think nothing that yeah, they no, have no, makes no, me no, laugh no, like no, that. I'm a, I'm, a man of my, I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word. Wait, you found it? Lot. Really? It yeah, wasn't. Yeah, no, no, it's real. It is. It's I'm real. A, I don't give a. Not, but here, here's here's the crazy shit though. I still think that like my point stands though with like. I, if I put a clip on Twitter right now from Team Four Star, someone who hasn't seen Dragon Ball might be like, "Is that really from the show?" Because True. of because because of, of how good they do their job on that shit, and I think that's why like uh, it's like different now than when it because this goes beyond just Team Four Star. This goes into everything. I can go on Twitter right now and just lie about something, and people would believe me because they because they like me. And I think like with some like Team Four Star, like it's. It's just as bad, man, because they're, it's so funny and they do so good at the voices that someone that does not know any better will be like, oh, my God, when did, when did he say that? It's crazy because, like, 
niggas is mad at Team Four Star for making a joke so good that niggas like believe their joke type shit. Even That's when crazy. They blatantly say, "Hey, this is just a joke," and people still believe it. Like, bro, at what yeah, point? Like, the, get off Team Four Star does. dick. Like, yeah. what the? What do you want them to do about that? Yeah, oh, man. it's the some anime of, equivalent. Some, of, some of those uh, jokes definitely wouldn't make me laugh today, but there's a couple like that one that still get me really good. What's another one? Oh, there's another one where. Uh, Krillin gets revived by Dende after Frieza jams the horn through him or whatever, and he wakes up and he thinks he's immortal. <laughs> and the, the actual scene in Dragon Ball is he's supposed to distract Frieza and go like have him fuck off for a while so Dende can heal Vegeta or some shit, but in TFS, he just thinks he's immortal and he starts throwing shit at Frieza and then he says, kiss my ass, bitch, I'm immortal, and runs off. Like, just shit like that was hilarious. I remember that. Oh, and the Tien versus Semi Perfect Cell. So. Oh, he's, that just was hit, he's, just hit, he's just hit them with repeated key blast cannons. Kikoho, Kikoho. And then Cell <laughs> finally stops him. And Tien's like lying on the ground, like in pain. He's like, Kiko, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only episode I remember like laughing at was it was like, I think when Vegeta first turned Super Saiyan or even when he was Super Vegeta against Cell. I, I don't remember none of the quotables, but I think that was the only episode that like I remember really laughing at. I think. Oh, but, yeah. Man. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's it's the people's fault for. For that, it's not Team Four Star's fault for doing a good job with their parody. It's the anime equivalent of the the kids that find out that black face of Robert Downey Jr. is like, oh my god, he was doing this. Like, that means they did a good job and poking fun of what they were poking fun of. I, I didn't even look. Are those episodes still on YouTube? Like, do they still exist on YouTube, or did Toei like get them or some I shit? I would say a, a lot of them might be gone because they were getting copyright. So remember when they some of those they guys were at a convention history. and like Toei, like some people from Toei actually went to the convention in person. person. To personally hand them like a cease and desist or something like that. Damn, that's actually crazy. Um, but yeah, no, they 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 were in t they they kept getting in constant like uh, <clears throat> legal trouble because of those episodes. But chat saying they're all still on YouTube. I remember them uploading exclusively okay. to their website for a while because they were in so much peril with that shit, like fighting the system and all that. It's crazy because, I, like, I don't want. Obviously, Dragon Ball Z is one of the most influential, one of the you know best anime of all time. Like everybody's watched Dragon Ball, but like. I think niggas really forget the Dragon Ball Z drought that occurred when TFS was making shit. Like, they kept the hype for Dragon Ball Z alive when they, like, neglected that franchise. I, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like... Yeah, all we had was Four that and video games. Flout. Exactly. Like, <laughs> and they, they had one that many video games. For real. Like, I feel like... three or four? Like, And some of them were really ass. And, and they were really ass. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. We really had a Dragon Ball. That's drought. That's, that's, a, that's a big that's a big age thing right there too. I think is because a lot of folks won't remember that depending on how old you are. But that's there was saying, definitely, like them, yeah. oh, there was definitely a period, bro, where there niggas was, was no, getting Battle of Z and Ultimate Tenkaichi and Raging Blast. Bro, yeah. it was like that two thousand like eight to like twelve thirteen ish. Those yep, games were it was just dry. Yep, because yep. Battle of Z came out and that was twenty fourteen, and that was and that was built off the uh, Battle of Gods and shit. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta go off ass. real quick. N n niggas on my ass about calling Dragon Ball Z one of the best anime ever. Niggas said Helsing <laughs> Ultimate. Go talk to a bitch and say you watch Helsing Ultimate. See what happens. <laughs> okay, bro. Go, 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 go. You know the <laughs> impact that, like, yeah, we like to shit on Dragon Ball Z, but you guys know the impact that Dragon Ball. Bro, yeah, had? like, like, like you, you can it's canonically it's say is the best. It's the go. It's the greatest. Give me your head. Name five Helsing characters right now. That nigga is the great. Name five Helsing characters right now. Oh fuck. Dead motherfucker. Wrong. Yeah, right <laughs> Dragon Ball yeah, ain't the great better. Gatsby when it comes to storytelling, right? No, but like, like, it's still iconic in like what it did for like Shonen as like a genre. Right, and just, like, like, like let's on, not bro. lie to ourselves, bro. Yeah, you know, you know what? You know what it is? It's that tweet that someone put out that I think make like it. It it puts my feelings perfectly into words. Where they're like, there's this like subgenre anime fans that feel like certain things are like. You know, this is this is so in peak intellectually, and this is the great writing. This is down the fourth that are missing Bro. out on the fact that Goku screaming to rock music is the best thing that will ever be made. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> nothing, Bro, no, nothing, that, nothing that can factual. top that. That is one of my favorite like oh. gen genres of meme right now on Twitter, where some fucking anime dork elitist is on his bullshit, and somebody okay. just quote tweets it with with Goku powering up or some no, shit. Yeah, I, anyway. no, 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 <laughs> I, I, I googled it to find the tweet Babel was looking for, and I replied to Nick with this tweet, and that's what popped up. There it is. Look at this. 
I lick it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. This, 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 yeah, this week. This week. This week. Fucking this shit. Shit. <laughs> check, now check this out. <laughs> I don't know how to link this. So hold on, I'll link this shit in the oh, chat. This, this, also, this is this is grade A thunder uh, humor. The, I if, if if you had written this tweet, I'd be <laughs> no. like, yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> if you were a My Hero or like Black Clover fan or some shit, like, please do keep dragging Bro. his name out your fucking mouth, nigga. Yo, You're Omega, Omega speaking, 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 speaking on that, a little off tangent, Omega, I seen you say something I, I need i need just a quick explanation bro you said yeah, jjk bro. manga is ass brother are you caught up like what did you what, what oh, was that bro i'm not what was that bro we, we're not gonna spoil nothing but i need to understand I'm not, I'm not spoiling anything i'm not spoiling anything uh this was before i got to the shibuya incident okay i think the manga before the shibuya incident is one of the most boring things i've yes. ever read shibuya incident is peak you niggas not ready for that uh, okay okay that's what also, i needed to ask you know, i'm like i'm like is this nigga call it shibuya yeah. mid no, no, no. okay okay I, thank you I, I, I was like, yo what's going on G? <laughs> bro I, I had to pull up with that i had to pull up with that bro i'm not up to date but i just want to add on that i do think jjk from what i have read which is a decent chunk uh is better in the anime than it is in the manga. I agree. I think the anime yeah. elevates it. I think I, I think JJK is like on his Demon Slayer type shit. Where like the manga is good, I like it, but when that shit gets animated, it's like, oh wow. They said awesome. they're adding right. anime only content, right? Which is be with with Demon Slayer or no JJK? no 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 uh, JJK. JJK. They said they're, they're adding they're adding uh, new uh, anime exclusive bits. Shit, shit. Matt did it for AOT. Shit. Oh, I missed that. I, I think they yeah, are. I th I heard niggas talk about leaks and shit for it. I think I think that's a thing. I'm just gonna believe for Copium's sake. I got, they I'm got just gonna this. say this: the season twos, y'all need to be looking out for it. JJK and Blue Lock, bro, change your life, hey, bro. This is Blue Lock shit. On Spy Family, y'all need to be getting on Spy Family. Boo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, 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 hey! What did you say? <laughs> I, okay, wait, wait, wait. You can get <laughs> which take? Which take? Am I repeating, bro? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you? Was you talking shit about Blue Lock? I, okay, I'm not. I'm not directly talking shit about Blue Lock. I'm talking shit about a nigga named Anime or sports anime, bro. I just, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll burn your house. Down. Blue Lock? Lock? You don't like, like any sports Lock. anime? I, I, bro, it's so hard for me to, to get I into it, bro. Burn your house down, like straight a Afro, up. Afro, Afro, we're gonna die together in your burning house down. And your house is burning no. down. Thank you, bro. bro you Thank you, bro. Egoist, bro. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Bro, it's just, it's just hard. It's Lock a hard off, sign. Off, lock off. Lock off. Lock off. Lock I, I'm off. glad <laughs> you like it. I just don't. Sports anime is hard for me to get into. I'll, yeah, I'll bro. Right now. Like, like, it's, 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 it's corny. It's corny. Okay, okay, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let me, let me, let me, let, let me ask you, what is it about sports anime that turned you off or makes it hard for you to get into? Is the concept the that, for me. Like, wait, so, so, no, but so here's my thing, I, right? It's like, you could, you can have an anime or manga about literally anything in it. And it, it's interesting. Is it the fact that it's like, if you're watching niggas play sports with superpowers and that's corny or like, I, I, I think, I think the, the, the levels that they go to ladies and gentlemen, we got them. What happened? You'll never score a hat trick. The lever, the saying? the levels that they go to like emphasize the shit that they're doing, it just loses me, bro. I'm sorry. It's just OD. You like what? Okay, but you, I'm sorry. Like, it just it's not like my Naruto. thing. I, I was, no, no, you I mean, like Naruto too, bitch. What's what you no, gonna say? No, I, better yet, better yet, you like Death Note. We talk about I'll take a potato chip right. and eat it. Bro, bro, bro. But but <laughs> keep in mind, keep in mind, Death Note came I mean, at a really we, angsty we time in my in my teenage years. I actually, I don't know, like the. I, mean, I still like it the same. I'm not even gonna lie. I wanted to lie. I was on the lie so bad yeah, to make a point, <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I still like it. I still like it. Bro, he like fixed his mouth. Bro, I was getting, I was getting ready to lie. I was getting ready to lie crazy, but I just didn't have it in me. That was <laughs> bro, I feel like anime like is the is the genre where like they over exaggerate magic. You're, that's you're right. Like point. You're that's right. Part, and part and like makes it so, so and like I'm not I'm not gonna canonically say Blue Lock is bad, but because it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> because it's not my cup of tea, I'm gonna say it. I, I don't mean to be that nigga. Have 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 you watched it? Uh no, I haven't. Uh, but I, but the, you know the reason why I haven't watched it is because what I just said I just haven't clicked on so it, bro. So wait, 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 what what sports series have you tried to? Okay, I tried I tried before. basketball, nigga, with nigga with no Kuroko? presents. Basketball, nigga. Yeah, okay, I tried Coraco. Okay, okay. I tried I tried I tried the nigga? volleyball one. I, 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 which which I, boxing I like, nigga? I seen Mega Low boxing nigga, and then I seen him. You know boxing okay. nigga. I, I, I like. I like you Mega 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 boxing nigga too. Wait, 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 you didn't like Mega Low box? You, you didn't like any of those? Uh, Mega Low box a little different. It wasn't really like character boxing flow. like that. Character flaw. Character flaw. <laughs> but it was. It was different. It was different. It wasn't boxing like that, bro. Something wrong. Something wrong with. I like Mega Low box. Mega Low box was nigga had a metal arm. Fuck is we doing? Fuck is we doing? It was different. So wait, so. So I'm now I'm so you would like sports 
series more if they were more. He needs to keep blast on the court field. That's what I'm saying, bro, bro, bro. I just, I just think the concept is just not for me, bro. The concept for me is just not. Niggas was doing spirit bombs in Kuroko, so I don't know what what to tell you. Like, (laughs) okay, that's an exaggeration, bro. (laughs) Kuroko, Kuroko, I saw the value in it, I guess, but it just wasn't for me. I don't know how to describe it. It just wasn't. Nigga was not hype when he turned a basketball into a Russian gun. Like I'm confused. Anyway, if if the nigga wasn't fucking with Kuroko and Haiku and fucking, I mean Haiku's dog shit, so. I think I do I do Blue think Blue Lock I do think Blue Lock if, if if any okay, let me, let me <laughs> Bro, it's a volleyball anime Nick, please. I hate seeing you act like this. No, 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 let nah, me talk. Let bro. me talk. Okay. I so I only watched eight episodes, but I didn't like how they wasn't doing Kamehameha's. No. Yeah, like Kuroko, because these niggas is dead ass, like going Super Saiyan on the court. Like, that's fine. I think I think I have a hard time with the sports anime because the anime is over the top. Because it's like, you I was trying to watch say. basketball, and then they're like, oh, the character actually went invisible, and this guy doesn't yeah. from anywhere on the whole court. And I'm like, all right, man. Bro, so yes. Just, like, Bro. <laughs> That's that's what's weird to me about people who don't like sports series because there's two camps and it's the total opposites where some people are like I need in order for me to enjoy this I need this to be so over the top where niggas are literally doing spirit bombs that's what on, I their, want. on their fucking field and niggas is over but, the top and but then you have other people who are like these niggas are doing spirit bombs it's the stupidest fuck right so like Thunder is somebody who I think would enjoy like slam dunk a lot more whereas like Afro wants niggas to have like android cybernetic enhancements bro like and that's basketball. not bro I don't it's just not my thing I don't think there's anything I could have that makes me like uh, it. That, well, that's fine, but I'm saying right, since you like right. Megalobox, you're like, oh, it's 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 this is different right. though. It's not regular boxing. Two, two, so two. If, if they were to do something to the sport that they were playing, they made this shit like different than what it normally is. You'd probably enjoy it more. To be fair, I only probably like Megalobox as much as I did because I watched it with Toasty. I didn't watch okay. it on my own. All right, we'll watch anything with the homies gonna make it. Yeah, that's okay, what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. But hold on, Blue you Lock, might like Blue Lock though. Blue Lock is a little different because like, so here's what happens, right? There's this one guy. This nigga's name is literally Ego, right? So he's like, "Yo, Japan, y'all some that's bitch hard. ass niggas with this soccer shit, like that ass. You're never gonna, you're never gonna win a World Cup because all y'all niggas some bitches." So what he does is. He kidnaps some uh, some like soccer play. Okay, not really. He sends oh, out what? invites for some soccer players to come to a, this facility to like work on their soccer game or whatever the fuck. When they get there, he's like, "I right, so look, so boom. Only one of you niggas right here is gonna be the number one striker in the world to lead Japan to its first World Cup. But everybody else, you're never ever gonna have another chance to play soccer ever again in a professional capacity. So like everybody in the facility is like." They're trying to like be mad cutthroat and like fuck up other niggas' bags at like becoming the best soccer player so that way they can become the best soccer player. So it's not like some whole like friendship powers type shit. Like, yeah, well, let's play as a team. It's like, nah, nigga, fuck you. I'ma score in front of your face, in front of your salad, destroy your dreams, and fuck your mom. And that shit is gas. The the one pl- plus I'll give Blue Lock, which if if I ever try it one day, is for this reason. I really like how they fucking animate the eyes. I like the expression that, that they do yes. with that. I, I, I like that a lot. Nothing but good also, shit about Blue Lock. I just don't like sports anime. How long is it? Yeah. Preach Blue Thunder. Lock is what? 24? 25 episodes? It's 24. Oh, my, my it's 24, 24 I believe. Yeah. And I hey, will bro. say this. If you're a manga reader, it is the manga is also now, amazing. Now, manga sports anime is a never in my life. That's crazy. I also I also thought that before Blue Lock, but I I, I get it. Y'all gotta understand. Hey, y'all, y'all gotta understand. Home. Y'all gotta understand. <laughs> Omega might have been banned from England, Spain, and other countries for his hate of soccer before this. Like, yeah, he, like Ome- <laughs> Omega <laughs> might have had ba- a barred like entry. I was like, oh, he, he, deep. he, he is deep. Omega <laughs> Pro is on FIFA 23 because yeah, of Blue is, Lock. Deep. <laughs> Last year he was public <laughs> number one in in England because yeah. of his hatred for soccer. But yeah. Blue Lock changed this nigga so much. That he is saying football now. That that that's football. how bad this guy is. <laughs> Messi, Messi. Ain't he no would way. get skinned alive in Spain last year for his tweets. But now that nigga's like, I'm a fan of uh, PSG and Real I Madrid. I did that nigga. No, 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 no. Fuck PSG first and foremost. Uh, see, look at this. FIFA niggas yeah. is corny. Mbappe <laughs> is a fucking fraudulent ass. You nigga. hear this nigga? <laughs> He's too Bro, this nigga in that game. Nerf him because that's some bullshit. But anyways, they, they, they got this nigga over there talking about the Luka Doncic of soccer and shit. <laughs> I got a receipt. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, anyway. bro. Hey, how many of you niggas seen the Mario movie? Yuck. I, yeah, I, I have. Yuck, yuck, yuck. 
but you 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 watch you you watched it and didn't like it or you no 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 I was about to start hating you got it bro I actually don't hey, care. Hey, <laughs> what did you say? For <laughs> 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 that's the best type of hate. The hate you don't give a fuck about. Yeah. yeah. You know what I said, so, Thunder? I said I'm single. That's what I said. <laughs> so anyway, in, in typical Twitter fashion, so I saw the movie the day it came out, but I I, I guess there's a lot of people who see who like had early premieres or saw it before, and whatever, right? Um, and so going into the movie, I didn't have no expectations. It's a fucking Mario movie, right? So I just thought it'd be kind of fun to watch, funny, right. whatever, ha ha ho ho. And it was. I thought it was a cute little movie. It's clearly a kid's movie, right? But it has some cool moments. It was fun to watch. I had a great time. So I look back on Twitter. I'm just like, what the fuck did you niggas think you were get going to get? Like, what did you expect or want out of this movie that you didn't get to where people feel so strongly about it being such a bad movie? First and foremost, nigga, you're 32. The movie's meant for six-year-olds. I don't understand. I don't like that argument because I still enjoy kids shows, bro. And they still have deep uh, adult arguments that still hold true to this day. Well, but my my thing is, right? Yeah, oh. good good kids movies always have some extra nods in there for adults to appreciate and enjoy as well. But simultaneously, it's just like, I feel like the criteria or the standard I'm seeing people hold these movies, because first of all, everyone's online the fucking uh, uh, professional critic, I guess, right? Here we go. Hmm. It's just like, you, I, <laughs> Here we the, go. Standard, the standard you're holding shit to, I just don't think it's supposed to so apply to everything. That, that got kicked off by critics, because critics were reviewing the movie like it was supposed to be nominated for an Oscar or some shit. I shit you not, some of well, these critics were giving it like a... Like the Sonic movies. They were, like, they were oh. giving it like a two out of five, but their reasons was that it flowed like a video game, and it looked like it was meant for children. Like, those, were, the, those were like the negatives so that they were giving. But them. that is literally the point. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually you know insane. Like I didn't know that. In the last of us. <laughs> I was watching that when it hits Disney Plus. I so that's that's the whole thing. Like I'm sitting there watching the movie. I'm like, this is cool. Like I don't, I don't see the big I think, deal, man. It was I a fun it. movie. I'm gonna be honest. I think like for me, th this is like a really a personal thing. I'm not like I've never been a big Mario guy like that. Like, same, same, life. same. And, same. and like I saw so. So like I and so I think that like Mario and love that shit will probably want to see it and, re and really enjoy it. Whereas, like, for me, I think if I went and watched it, I would probably leave with a similar mindset that critics had. Because I'd be good, because I wouldn't care about the universe shit that much. I wouldn't care about the Easter eggs. Well, have you, I'd, have I'd you, acknowledge have, it's cool. Have you, have you played any Mario games before? Yeah, I, play, I played a majority of them. So, I so Galaxy, the thing is that, like, Sunshine, I, like I, I played all of them. Well, it sounds like you might have already played more than I have. I've played a few Mario games growing up, but I'm not, like, no big Mario fan. But you, if you've played just, like, fucking Sunshine and Galaxy and, like, 64, like, you've seen enough and played enough. The exact same. I guess yeah, like, like, you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you're yeah. You're not going to be lost. Like, nothing on, nothing in there is going to be lost on you. Right. I think I think I would get it. I just, like, I, I, I'm with Omega that whenever it hits, like, you know, quad flicks, I'll probably watch it online somewhere. <laughs> Because, because like I, <laughs> damn. Because I think, because I think like, because again, it's just not, it's just not something that I'm like. I think if, if let's say, if we all lived by each other, and niggas was like, let's see Mario. I'm like, nah, oh, I look at niggas funny, look, bro. Let's like, see why? Mario. No, no, but if, but fuck it. Nah, I, mean, I, I, I would go. You are. Yeah, 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 I'm hating. I'm hating. I'm hating. I'm hating. I'm hating. Bro, niggas, niggas hit me with that for Sonic. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, not, no, but see, well, so, someone locally or, or what? Because yeah, different. locally. They say let's go watch the Sonic movie. I'm like, nigga, why? Oh, I take it and oh, we're all you, watching you, the Barbie movie together. I, I would say it'd be what? one thing. It was like, hey, yo, nigga, I'm trying to fly. You trying to go see Sonic? It's like, no, nigga, stay home. Yeah. But if, if we lived in the same city, hey, nigga, I'm thinking about go see Mario. You try to, you try to pull right. up. I would go. Right. See, yeah, I'd go see Mario with the homies. Let's meet up and let's watch Barbie. Let's go. I'd go watch damn near anything. Okay. Okay. I would say, what, nah, I'm, 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 I'm picky, bro. Like, I think the older I get, the more I look at the theater as like, it got to be something I really want to watch. Bro, so, I'm yeah, no, that's just how I am, bro. Like, so, I'm just going to be in that bitch for an hour or so. Like, uh, something I don't really care for. I can't no, do it. Long, nah, see, I'm the opposite. Where growing up, I never gave a fuck about the movie theater. And I went a handful of times, but I'm going more and more lately. I was like, no, I feel I that. Get that. Any excuse to get theater popcorn, I don't give a fuck. Bro, I, bro, I, for, yeah, you're spitting. You are spitting about that. I, I used, to, I used to hit that crave heavy. Bro, it used to be theater popcorn or red vine licorice. Bro, I don't care. I'm not gonna lie. They, they, about, they, uh, they, red vine is subhuman. That's crazy. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, hear me man. out. Hear me out. Before bro. we start being disrespectful. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick, 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 Nick. What, 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 what the fuck is your favorite candy? Pokemon flavored nerds head ass nigga. What do you like? What do you like? Go on, go on. What's your favorite candy? Fucking pop tarts, bitch. What do you like? What do you bring in the theater? You the type of nigga that sneaks in food to the theater. Fuck are you doing coming to me? Nigga, oh, nigga, gonna bring a bottle of Henny to the theater, bitch ass right. nigga. Shut up. Let 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 let, let Nick get up, bro. Nah, fuck this guy, bro. Let, let him get. Let him let him let him cook. Let him cook, bro. All right, Nick, go on, go, go on, go on. What? What? Go, go How about next? What's your favorite candy? What's your favorite candy? <laughs> what, what's your favorite candy, Nick? What's your favorite candy? <laughs> Red vines, what's our favorite fucking candy, nigga? Speak. What is it? 
<laughs> What's your favorite candy, Nick? I like anything chocolate, bro. I'm sorry. Anything chocolate? So we just going fat with the answer. That's all you did. Twix, oh! Butterfingers. No, I'm. I no, no. Oh! Fuck it. Fuck it. He's coming at me. He's coming at me. I'm coming at him. I'm coming at him. Back up. Back up. Sorry if I had a shred, no, but I'm talking to that nigga. So anything oh, chocolate? No. So you don't care. You don't care. As long as you got chocolate on us, you eat chocolate raisins? You eat chocolate raisins? You eat chocolate raisins? Chocolate raisins slap. You niggas are gross. That's subhuman. That's subhuman. That's subhuman? What? A chocolate covered raisin is fucking disgusting. Fucking disgusting. Children? Twizzlers. Y'all niggas don't fuck. Bro, what's going on? Bro, Twizzlers go crazy, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? You want chocolate covered raisins? Oh are you really gonna put a chocolate covered raisin over a fucking Twizzler? Oh, he listen, 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 listen. I had, bro, bro. Before I get bro. deep into it, I, like deep in it, I realized that Alfred don't even like eggs. Like, who am I having this argument nigga, with? Nigga, dude, we're talking about candy. And, and you, know what? you know what? You know what? You know what? Moon, moon, moon. You know what? I do like eggs. I do like eggs. Oh, yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? What you like now? What, what what is it now? What is it now? I'm so proud of you. Shut your bitch ass up. What's your favorite candy for real? Pick one. Pick a candy. Pick a candy. Sour Skittles. Suck my dick. Nigga. <laughs> Sour Skittles your favorite candy? Don't even it's just slap. Bro, what color your teeth? Fuck you talking about sour Skittles, nigga. That's just disgusting. We're talking oh about God, candy bro. after you Hold can't get mad at people for their teeth or fat stuff because it's Wait, candy. I don't care. I, I can't. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You're not. You're not. Nigga, trying to go sad, Nigga, fuck. Nigga, you can't even make rice. Fall back. All right, you're right. He got me. He got me there. He got me there. Fuck. 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 Food argument. Bro. 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 I'm gonna link you a rice cooker, by the way. Lotus, go level. You're on level three, me right now, bro. That's what. That's what you're gonna do. That's what you're gonna do, Lotus. You didn't talk this whole entire time, but this is what you say, bro. All right. I was. I wasn't even trying to meme. I was being dead ass. I want. I want you to have well-made rice, bro. I'm gonna link you the same cooker. Rice cooker, I got this shit great. All you do is throw it in there with some water to do everything for you. All right. Well, hey, bro. Hey, GG's. Look, I actually don't like eggs, but I couldn't let Moon get me right there. So <laughs> I do like I refused. I refused. I refused. I had to lie. I had to lie. <laughs> but, but, hey, bro. Red vine, licorice, Skittles, raisins. Since we comparing shit, what about Twitch and Kick, bro? What, what, what's your, we have, do we have, actually wow. have a conversation about this shit? That's a nasty segue. It's all under Kanye. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's Sage Jam <laughs> with the segue. Hold that's on. That's a nasty segue. Thank oh. you. Thank you. Thank you. What, what, what are your all opinions, though, like of the current climate of streaming with Kick being what it is at the moment? I just think that shit's fucking they didn't hilarious. Come out that they're both like, look the same at all this company. money I'm making. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. What'd you say, Moon? I said, Aaron, did this something come out like they're both under the same parent company? So like, wait, are they like being like, so yeah, no, 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 the thing is, though, is that Twitch gets that obviously at a discounted rate because it's owned by Amazon, whereas hmm. Kick has to pay the full price. Oh, so pretty okay. much like I don't see how Kick could ever like it, I don't see how the fuck this platform is sustainable because I was going to say that word for word. If you were to uh, put the same amount of viewers on Kick and Twitch just off the basis of serving the, the that video feed to the same amount of viewers kick has to pay like quadruple the price or some shit that twitch does so it's like off rip, crazy. and While there also is no the money in this streaming shit more. exactly like i don't i look i hope kick does well because more competition is good i just i don't see it oh, and then kick? there's all the controversies that kick? we just yeah like yeah all over i agree again. I, I think Kick the is getting their money. Mixer was getting their money from Microsoft. Kick is getting their money from funneling in uh, gambling. Like one of their yeah. top categories is always, always gambling because they're sponsoring people to do that. So I it's heard, really. So I actually heard a, a like, not, I don't know if you want to call it like a game theory or whatever the fuck, but pretty much like what stake is doing with kick is like trying to funnel the people that come to kick into gambling. Because if you can oh, like convert no. like just a couple of those people into like lifelong gamblers you've made a bag off them it's like, it's literally like ruin their life <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's it's it's, it's like gotcha the gambling, gambling is crazy right? yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. they make most of their money just off of you know like the one percent or less than one percent that will just wail out and spend their life savings into it yeah and i and i want to and i want to just to give y'all you know chat context to how much money the owners of kick have 
you know how Drake gambles like a million Bitcoin, like every UFC event or like every fucking uh, sports event. He that's not that. That's not his. Him. That's not his money. That's stake. Stake is fronting him money, so he gets a percentage because he has he has he has a deal with them. That's why he streamed on Kick like one time, like a few months ago, he because yeah, yeah, he, oh, yeah, because because, because stake because stake and him have a deal. Where they pay him a, I'm not, I can't say how much, I don't know, but a lot of money that lets him spend millions. So my point is, they can afford Drake. Okay, yeah, that's how they, they literally have ownership of like F1 <clears throat> Formula racing teams. Like that's how they're right now. They're able to just like take this loss on money right now. However, in the future, I don't know how long this lasts. But Do, as uh, it stands, F1 racers make a lot of money. It's, no, I mean, like, obviously it's it's a lot maybe. compared to like us, but like. They well, millions. The 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 racers themselves, I think, there's various to like how good you are, but it's more so they they own teams, and like right. F one is like one of the most like one of the largest international. Sport. I don't think no, you know this is one of the like largest sports internationally, like mm, in the world. Gotcha. Like it's it's pretty fucking huge. I don't know how players but they make salary wise, but like teams, uh, it's a lot of money to own an F one team. Gotcha. <laughs> the highest. Think... What is this? Shit <clears throat> the highest F one. Driver was what Lewis Hamilton at thirty three million. I think what the fuck? What, uh, go, just going back to the old kick thing. I think the biggest thing that like kick would need to be taken like seriously as a streaming platform for hmm. somebody like me or even for like advertisers, which are obviously going to be very important, is like you can't have the only people being on your platform are the people that are banned on every other platform. Like, yeah. That, that is yeah. Just oh, not a good, not a good look. I, I think, I think that's the problem kick is run into right now is because their poster boy is guy who's been banned on everything ever. But if they actually do start moderating the whole sole purpose, people went over there in the first place. Like yep. that's their core right now and they're going to leave. So like, okay. yeah. so you, you, you guys would, have an answer to this. I, I wouldn't because I'm not as in the know with like some of the bigger creators. Have they not gone the mixer route yet and just try to throw a big bag at like a large Twitch creator? Yeah, yeah. No, they, they well, threw yeah, a bag yeah. at Aiden Ross. They threw it. That's why they won't get rid of yeah. it. They threw a huge fucking bag at Aiden Ross to start. But, and and but, that's but, just but, their guy now. Like rumors about like SQC and Kai and them too. The, their, their content plan though is not to sign people exclusively. They want people to still stream on Twitch and then like quote unquote like raid the kick channel when they end their stream. So everybody they're signing with the exception of Aiden because he's banned everywhere else yeah. uh like th you, it's not like there's no exclusivity clause so you can still stream anywhere you want to just as long as you're also streaming on kick just to give context one of the uh one of the like um i want to see he's one of the one of the founders of the company right uh, mm -hmm. or he, or he at least um actually i don't know his position maybe omega can educate me i don't know what Is train it the Eddie guy oh, no train. train so i don't train, know yo. Train was a consultant, and I'm I believe he's like I think Nick's right, he's on like some CEO type shit. Okay, I, oh, that's I think crazy. He has I don't think like uh for the record, I don't think Train Rex has like a final say on anything because oh it, he wants to get some of these niggas banned, like he wants them like off of this platform, but like the the owners of Kick are not budging. You know, the reason why I brought him up is to say to, to your point, Train Rex still streams on Twitch. Yeah. Even right. though he's one of the leading like people of Kick. Like he's one of like the heads of the uh, of at least like the, he's a co owner. He he co owns Kick. He doesn't have the final say is because he's still is, is probably the reason why he's still on Twitch. It's like, ah, this isn't my really like my full thing. Like he has a whole team he has to like do shit with. And the thing the, the thing that kind of sucks is I know Train Rex has like a murky past but i do genuinely believe he wants to create like a better platform for creators and shit like that mm -hmm. i just feel like i don't know i just i don't trust the niggas at stake that's that's yeah. just where it is for me yeah i mean i, I feel like that. everybody there doubled down on on aiden and the people they have run it now that's like they're yeah. very deep to go back at this point did you guys yeah. see that they uh they sent Kai a pair of the slime green <clears throat> off by Air Forces. And I think the guy who tweeted out said, Custom Air Force, the nigga not. Bro, I feel like I, that was just I, a joke. I, those Air Forces were kind of, they're worse. Than no, 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 no. Here, here's, here's, I'm so, this is such a me, Lotus, and Omega issue, I feel like. But yeah, people yeah, were calling them custom shoes. And I'm like, yeah, no, those I, are off white so I, I, I was waiting <laughs> with I, different I, 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 laces. That's the thing, right? so, so when I saw them, I was like, those are just like the, the slime green off white. So I'm looking like real close at this clip. Like, is it is his name written on them bitches somewhere or something? Like, no, niggas just don't know what off white is got it <laughs> yeah like yeah. which is so crazy I don't, by the way so i don't know i don't know who knows or cares but those shoes that kick sent kai were not customs those were off whites with different laces 
And Off White, for those of you who don't know, is a designer brand um, that did a collab. Well, they they're their own brand, but that that shoe was a collaboration between them and Nike. Shout out Virgil oh. Abloh, RIP. Mm. And, and personally speaking, I think they're ugly. Yeah, yeah, no, I, facts. I, I, I also yeah, am not a fan of the, I think of the, the shoe. I think the I, I would rather have those than what Twitch sent him. But oh I'd, my I'd, god, no, the bedazzled. That shit's so funny. That, 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 that's you, you out of it, bro. Me, you wouldn't catch me spending my money on either of them. But if I had to pick, I'd pick off white. I'm but, taking the cars Crocs over them them Twitch shoes, bro. bro the the, the, the no, Twitch what about shoes, the KFC Crocs. I'll take those. Twitch shoes were ass. The Twitch shoes were not that that gesture. That gesture is so weird to me, bro. It's like, yeah, thank you for making. Yeah, that's half of all the hard work you did. Here's some shoes. It's like, bro, bro, man, what? am I the one that feels that was racially charged? It had to be, bro. Bro, what are black people like? Give them or some if, Jordans. It's like, bro, if what? They sent like Ludwig when he was still around or Moist Critical or anybody a gift like if they did something like that do you think they're sending them shoes no, like, no absolutely really? not no, no. I, I feel like I feel no. like that gift came from research and the fact that like this is what they thought was the play is crazy I don't like, know. Oh, we, ha we have this young black creator. What what, what are young black guys like? Oh, yeah. The, the Nike. First love uh, like Jordans, bro. <laughs> Send them two pairs. Bedazzle it, that shit. It feels, well, it feels well, like they Googled what a young black. It'll match his Robin jeans. Yeah. Not to. What not a young to, black. Not to, <laughs> not, to, <laughs> not, to, not to bleed purple. Not to bleed purple or anything. But Twitch did send other Air Forces to other streamers before Tyson. Had were they just as ugly? I, I, I they think were so. Act no, they they were they were better than that. They're so ugly. They're better not than that bullshit. Not to bleed though. purple is hilarious. <laughs> not to bleed purple, bleed but the, I'll, I'll post the I'll post the, They're still ugly. Yeah, but I need to see. They, I didn't know. I can bleed yeah, switch I'm purple or Elgato hideous. green. You make me sick. Are those some Air Force? <laughs> they're still ugly. They're still, they're oh, still, oh, they're oh, still ugly. They're, my God, they're still crazy, ugly as shit. Oh man, don't get it twisted. Awful. Oh man! Put the Twitch logo on the Nike check. They should, they I just set them hoes back. I ain't go. <laughs> I would have said I'm good. They should go to jail. You don't get this bullshit shit. away from me. I'm they should go to. Hoes. They should go to jail. These are disgusting. <laughs> These are disgusting. <laughs> the, twi the Twitch logo on the tongue. Y'all are yeah, bro. Yeah. This looks like crazy. some shit I find at the flea market. Like Twitch will do anything but give a nigga a contract. Like bro. Yeah, bro. Who wants these shoes, bro? I, 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 I've, I've seen. Split. I've seen that they have given some people contracts as well too. Do you do you think like, uh, hmm, let me add, I don't, I'm trying to figure out where this. Oh, 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 actually, for one, are those contracts that Twitch does give out? Is this like exclusive on their platform? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can't stream nowhere else. That, is that shit like 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 rare for some people to get, or like is it like I'm, I'm just confused. It's, it is it is pretty rare for somebody to get a contract from. It's Twitch. not common, that's for sure. Yeah, it's mm. always, it's, it's, because it's like, like the way Twitch yeah. sees it is they're still number one in the streaming market, and they don't really have a ton of competition right now. So they're not like, why are you going to give out a check when you're like the place to stream? You know, so, yeah. anyway type shit. So, so is it is are there contracts based on like if they like you? Is that it? Not if you're bringing in numbers? I, no, 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 no. Well, no, no, no. Because, no. like, the, okay, so if we're referring to like the contracts that like someone that Akai would get, like, no, they, they, they have definitely signed like major people. Well, they've only, they've only announced like major people that bring in major numbers. For example, like they signed, uh, remember back when YouTube was like trying to like steal people and they signed yeah. like a lot of offline TV, like Saikuno and so forth. Mm. Twitch is doing the same thing because they, I believe, the last one I remember them announcing a signing with was like, was it Nick Merckx? I thought Pretty it was sure. uh, a guy that's in Japan that does like anime, or he was known from anime stuff. It was like Sea Dog or something, something. Oh, he's, a, he's oh. on a Twitch contract. I didn't. Yeah, know that. yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that either. Hey, good for him. I God damn. Didn't know that. That I was know a recent con huge, con so I guess Connor. It sense, but Connor, I think yeah. that's his name. Sea Dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know, I know who that is. I didn't know that he had a contract with them though. If that's, that's, if that's good true. Shit. Yeah, but good I, but, but I haven't seen them like make an announcement like that mm -hmm. since like, and, like for for a while now. But I remember like two years ago, <clears throat> or a year or two ago, back when they were like mad streamers were getting like, like I know right now Summit One G is on a multi year deal. I remember that for sure. That happened like two or three years ago. Um, and Only like one that, I know for sure is like I think Hassan is on one, and Moist Critical is also on one. Moist Critical said that once his uh, exclusive contract is up, he's just going to multi-stream to YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, this, mm, tweet okay. is, this, this tweet is from going on three years now, where Twitch was like announcing, like, "Yep, I'm staying here." Like, so it, I, but I don't know if they're like still doing it and they're just not saying it. Saying it, but, yeah. But but there aren't many, that's for sure. I don't gotcha. believe that that we know about at least. It's competition. I had a subway, but hold, segue, but hold on. Mm, yeah, pick it up. 
I, I, on, really, I, I like the, the idea of the competition, even if this is just another mixer. I like the idea of there being competition there for a short period of time, but I hate who the, like, the people running it are yeah. right now. Or, like The people at the top are right now makes it hard to get behind. I, I have think a serious like, question. There's a lot of kick dick riders, and it's just like, I feel like they have a lot to prove. I feel like people are like jumping on the bandwagon too early because what ended up happening, like niggas did that with Mixer too. And then Mixer literally like with no fucking, uh, with no warning said, we're shutting down. And all those creators that built their platforms on there, yep. they, they lost everything. Yeah, that was, that was sad. That. That was, I yeah, I don't want to see that to happen to other creators. Like I would hope that they're not putting their eggs in kicks basket. So here's, well, here's my thing. And here's a question I want to ask. And this doesn't just apply to twitch but this is youtube twitter whatever mm -hmm. this, I, this is how i've been feeling and what i've been thinking does anyone else feel or think that like these platforms are kind of just at the point where they're too big for there to ever be any real competition like who's competing with youtube and google who's competing with twitch and fucking nobody I, I only Why? think who, that i only think that with players? youtube only thing that you know with YouTube. like as, as much as i, I would love for there to be real competition i don't think there ever will be i just think some of the like these three platforms in particular is which are the ones that we're on the most and you know obviously our platforms are mm -hmm. i just i just don't know if there will ever be anyone know. that could actually challenge them because I they're already YouTube, so big i think youtube is the only one that yeah, exactly. I like, Google, get yeah. Touched. like i think i think one real time. i think twitch can get overtaken i think twitter can get overtaken i think every other social media can get overtaken but i, I think youtube the, is i can't yeah. see that happening the only reason why i think twitch can get overtaken is because they're their own biggest enemy yeah. I think Twitch technically should. I think it's what so, they're what they're at. They should not technically be able to get overtaken. So yeah, my yeah. thing is the only way I could see these things getting overtaken by something new is that you have to fuck it up. Well, no, you have to like change the platform. And so, so for example, right, like like TikTok is bigger than Instagram and shit now, right? But that's it's it's they're not the same thing. Like even though Instagram has reels and shit, right? They're trying to be TikTok. Is like TikTok was basically like vine or whatever but vine shut down you know what i'm saying now it's, it's back as tiktok basically but they're not the same thing right so like if another service wants to come up and like compete with like twitch like you got a live stream on it but they're gonna have to add some sort of twist to do some different shit i, I at least in my opinion or, or in my thought process for it to actually like kind of take off and, and and be bigger or at least seriously compete with twitch so we have to do something different but i don't i don't know what the fuck that would be and the same thing goes with like youtube it's like what other what other platform could possibly compete with youtube and google for fucking video uploading space unless yeah. you're, unless you're adding something i mean like, it's, something it's what is exactly what you said like how tiktok came in and like had its own fan base but keep in mind tiktok came in as something totally different and i feel like well but if it, they it come in as something of... totally different and then they have like oh but we also do this like not, like how t uh, tiktok said oh now we do live streaming and shit like obviously maybe not we'll be able to compete with like something like twitch but if they're able to kind of like aggregate a lot of their over existing fam, like there was a time people thought MySpace couldn't be touched. And then look what happened to that. Like, I feel like any, any platform. MySpace so for, back for sure. For yeah. Sure, I, I feel where you're coming from. And you could easily say that this applies now because in 10 years, I, I could be sure, no, dead ass right? again. But like, I feel like MySpace was in such an early phase of on the, the internet and social media and shit. Like, mm -hmm. obviously, there was other stuff like fucking. Bro, like, I did not think Twitter could be touched and shit like that. But like MySpace was is is definitely like one of the OGs of social media, I would say, and it's yeah. like that that um, being overtaken or like being like sold and becoming something different, or like Facebook coming into play and then Twitter and all sort of shit. Mm -hmm. like, I I could see how something like that happens, but I just feel like we're further along the timeline in social media and the internet. And I don't know if it, it's something like that. Right. Can, I didn't think Twitter could I, do I, any I, wrong, I, and then yeah. I saw cracks in Twitter. I was like, shit, even this is up to like like if Twitter was to continue to go down the path it was a couple of months ago, which who knows, maybe just slow down. This shit could have people could have just had like a mass migration to another one, like yeah. Better um, real, real quick, real quick. Yeah, like, yeah. I got a comment. I want somebody said Rumble. Something called Rumble is trying to take over YouTube. Uh, Their main lineup are banned Twitch streamers and YouTubers. I do not think you can get a functioning platform based off of banned people. Yeah, I think so their their top I their top creator is Andrew Tate. Bro. Afro's saying the only platform that probably will never move is probably YouTube because that's like under Google. Do you I guys know that. the uh, the YouTuber Devin Nash? She makes a lot of videos yeah, about yeah, shit. Yeah, so. Not. He made a video about kick and its viability and he runs like an ad agency that's like his his main job and he said that right now like sites like kick and like rumble are like a no-go for ad agencies like they are not touching those sites at all and without ads like none of those sites could ever be profitable so especially in the case of rumble like rumble ain't backed by fucking stake so rumble is not even like rumble is nowhere near a threat that site literally exists for like alt-right content creators like that's literally it.
Yeah, nah, Rumble's reputation is that shit is with everybody that's been on there recently. That is hilarious, bro. Well, I, I think, I think, I th say it again? I've never been on Rumble before, so this is like my first time hearing about this. I, yeah, I never heard this about it. I, I, gotcha, I think gotcha. I heard one of y'all mentioned it a couple of days ago, but I, I knew nothing about it, really. Hey, stay, I think the brother, only hey, stay reason, away. I think stay one away. of the biggest things that Twitch has going for it in terms of, like, not getting overtaken by competition is how fucking expensive it is to host live streams like this. And so like, that, that's my that's thing. Like it's like, big thing. It's like, you just, it's like we already you know, talked about, and like you said, it's like... Uh, what twitch like created or uh, patented copyrighted whatever the technology they have with like this video player shit now it's owned by amazon whatever so it's like even kick who's trying well, it's to always been owned by using... amazon uh well re regardless my, my point is that like obviously amazon owns switch whatever now right and it's like even kick who's quote unquote trying to compete is using their shit so it's like how the fuck are you gonna compete using their shit yeah well, that, well i think that's one of the biggest issues with just twitch because like amazon themselves offers a direct line of competition for their own product as well now i don't think that's a problem for twitch though because if somebody wanted to do, use the same service that Twitch is using, they have to pay like double the price. Double? And, yeah, like because Twitch gets it like at a discount or some shit. Gotcha. Like, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure like Kick is I think I said quadruple earlier. I think that's wrong. I think it's actually double. So they have to yeah, it's it's way too expensive. They'd have to create their own thing, which is what like Twitch did originally. Like Twitch created the Amazon like web video service that we use, and that's why Amazon bought Twitch and now it's Amazon web services that they like license out to other sites that want to use it. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I think it is interesting watching all these different streaming platforms fight to kind of like, you know, see what could overtake Twitch, whatever. Um, but I also do think it's interesting when you see content creators fight. I don't know if you saw the Creator Clash 2 yesterday. Did you guys watch nice. that? Ooh. Dang. Mm. I did. Dang. I did. Really nice with these. I like that shit. Yeah, I do do these. Yeah, I do do these for real. This, 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 this guy's all right. This, guy, this, this, okay. guy, this guy's all right. This guy's all right. I, like this guy. I, I actually watched a little bit of it, and I did fall asleep. But, bro, I fell asleep at the worst time because I heard uh, Myth knock somebody out, bro. Like, bro, this, please tell me what bro, happened, bro. This is the goal. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. I'll be honest. I saw Myth. Uh, I I actually saw Myth fight in person at the Ludwig chess boxing event last year. Uh, wow. So I've been I've been scouting. You've been having been suspenders scouting. on all day today, bro. What's I've up been, with this? I've been I've just I've been scouting him for a while. Her. You know, uh, and just to be on. No, real talk. I think like with Myth, bro, his build and and how serious he takes training. That guy is like legit. He's he's built for boxing. I'll, I'll say it. Like his, his reach and his build, he can. That guy, he can fight. And, and yesterday, he knocked somebody out crazy. Nah, with, with I heard it was round out. one. It was. It was it right was. at the end of round one. He yeah. hit him with like a, a like a light jab and then followed it up with a straight and just like nigga drop, bro. Like Damn. it was. It was. Crazy. He knocked out with a straight too. That was crazy. Knocking somebody out with a straight is nasty. That guy folded. Yeah, that shit and, and, was crazy. And you know what's crazy? People were people were actually uh kind of doubted. That, that, that match was a toss up. A lot of folks thought the other guy was gonna win. Who, who's the, the other guy? The other, the other Hundar, I think, is his name. I'm not really sure like what he's from or what he does. But in the last Creator Clash, he was kind of a dog. So like, and I think like because he looks like so like stocky and muscular, whereas Myth doesn't have as much definition as him. I think that's why people thought that. But like you look at Myth and you see like how he's built, they're the same height, but Myth looks so much longer and like taller and shit. And I think that shit. And I guess Myth must pack a fucking punch because last year that Hundar dude was like eating punches from the dude he boxed. I guess Myth just literally hits different because God damn, bro. Damn, bro. Yeah, I think the last fight. Arms, man. The I last... was so I was so happy to see. I was rooting for Myth crazy. I was like Myth. Please don't lose, gang. Like we we need this, bro. And he fucking knocked his ass out. <laughs> That's sick. The last fight, I don't remember the last fight I seen. I don't think I recognize a lot of the people that I watched before I bro, fell asleep. I saw, I, I saw some dude come out to Suave Mente and get his ass beat, bro. I don't know. How to feel about <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't go with the Suave Mente, bro. So, I mean, to be fair, there was like a six inch height difference between the two, but. Still, I was like, damn, on, bro. Man. Suave Mente, and you get damn. That's kind of crazy, dude. Out of all the like, I guess the content creator boxers going around who would you say is like your favorite that you try to keep up with his fights with for me it's uh, saw poppy bro i think that nigga is actually a boxer in disguise saw like it's poppy actually crazy dog. yeah saw he's poppy crazy stop bro thunder <laughs> oh okay wait 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 real fast real fast before we, before we answer that question the last fight oh no the, the second to last fight of the night that you missed andrea bro. with michelle is that the one you're talking about or no 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 no, no, no. well that that was that was the that best was, fight i will say the best fight uh, easily. That, andrea michelle was the best fight but, that the, but the, easy 
but the guy that Thunder just mentioned, the the second the heavyweight fight, second to last. Fight, oh, uh, that nigga was a bro. Dog. John, oh, John, he, bro. They, his name now is John Hennigan because he's not on the WWE anymore. But that's John Morrison. That's and he nice, and he put the fucking pause on <laughs> bro. Shout what? out to bro. Who do you fight? Shout out to Harvey. No, no, no. Uh, a six foot nigga. A six foot nigga like beat the shit out of somebody who was six seven and had like 15 20 pounds on him it was like the craziest shit i've I ever mean, seen john morrison's a, an athlete like yeah I, I got that like i i pre- i thought he was gonna win just because of like the ath- the athlete background or whatever but i didn't expect it to go down like that like god and john damn. morrison's 43 and yeah. like and he knocked him out he knocked him out like three times bro like yep. it was cr- he knocked him out the ring on the first one that was bad yeah he, <laughs> he he knocked down harley in each round like that shit was crazy bro nah john johnny and he, he came and he came out with like five wrestlers he came out with like with hacksaw jim duggan la knight carrying cross carrying yeah which shit, shit was but but i will say that that was that fight was lit but andrea against michelle i don't know who mm. actually watched that event I feel like almost every because I've watched a lot of these influencer boxing events. I feel like the female boxing is actually always better. Like I, I'm and, not gonna lie, not, even like going f- further from that, I think Michelle and Andrea looked like the most like trained there. Like in terms of the control, absolutely, that's what I mean. All that, like they yeah. were like, I was like, wow, y'all look like way better than everybody else on this card. Yeah, I'm not that's what lie. that's what I mean. They they are the they're the best. I feel like all the women fights are genuinely just better. Like they're yeah. they are better boxers. That fight they, was really entertaining. They go the distance and they actually look like real <clears throat> fighters. That shit's so fire. Um, but I don't know as far as like favorite influencer boxer goes. I really don't like. Yeah, I don't have one. I wouldn't say. I will say though that Saul Poppy is he he is a dog though. Yeah, I've, I've seen all his fights. That guy is. I would love to see him fight like one of the bigger like bigger names one day. But we'll we'll see. Because I, nah, I he could probably he he could give Jake and KSI for their money. Personally, I'm like, tired yeah, of both I mean, Jake and KSI's fights. So I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I'm I'm, o- I'm actually I'm actually over it now. I don't I, really care anymore about. Like, I want to see KSI and John Morrison after that call up. Personally, John, but, John Morrison did call out KSI. That was hype. I, but I don't know if KSI wants any of that. But I mean, I, I, I'd watch. Yeah, I feel like KSI would get his ass beat. But like, I would watch too though. <clears> but I think. Yeah, I don't. I think that after I'm gonna be honest, after that uh that fight with Tommy Fury, and like after I just kind of don't really care to see like Jake and KSI go anymore. Doesn't really like matter to me. I think the time has passed. Yeah, I would I would have wanted to see KSI fight Jake. I wanted to see that, but I guess that I st- I still will watch it. I'm just not like looking forward to it. I guess anymore. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I feel like I, I feel I like it's been a influ- while now. That's what I I'm saying. The influencer boxing events when like if I just so happen to be home and it's on, I'll be like, oh, I guess I'll watch it. But I'm not gonna like take time out my day or be like, no, sorry, can't hang out today, bro. Jake Paul fighting, like I, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I have personally never watched a single one of them. You're not day. missing that much. That's yeah, impressive. I just though. see the aftermath on Twitter. Bro, oh, did I fuck up this puzzle? Well, it's actually interesting you mentioned Twitter. I heard that you had some grievances with Twitter, Lotus. Bro, does anyone else just feel like Twitter has been ridiculously insufferable lately? It's just like it's constant. Page, your bro. timeline, bro. You gotta change your for you page. It's the for you page, bro. You gotta, you gotta weed out. You, you gotta, you okay, gotta curate so, this like, shit, bro. I, yeah, I, I did I, block I, a lot of niggas. You gotta, bro. gotta do some curation, bro. A, a lot of people keep telling me, "Oh, it's for you page, for you page," and yeah, that is some of it. But like, even just my regular timeline, because I see other people engaging with shit, and like they'll either quote tweet something or reply to something, whatever. And like, I don't, bro. I hadn't even been on there as much lately, and I hadn't even been like. Well, so I took. I, where do I start? I was be, I was becoming less and less active on Twitter, right? And I was like, well, I I personally view Twitter as a very valuable like resource and platform, right? As as a content creator and somebody who makes their living online, like Twitter is a, a useful tool. I feel like I should utilize. So I started to get more active on Twitter again lately, and the more active I got, I realized I fucking hate this platform. I like it a lot, in, in all seriousness, but like. It just constantly blows my mind because I don't know what he's. I've never met people this fucking stupid in real life, so I just don't understand where, where all these people come from, bro. It's just constantly like I'm just being shoveled, just the the, the dumbest opinions, just like 
the, 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 the most idiotic arguments. And it's just to the point, like, you can't be real people. There's got to be bots arguing with bots. Like, I don't, it's, I don't know. Man. Yeah, I think, like, I've gotten really good at just, like, tuning that shit out. So I only see the shit that, like, I actually kind of care about. And I don't know what the fuck happened recently in the past like week or two but i think this nigga elon kind of on my dick because a lot of my tweets been banging recently so. same i've been just tweeting out bullshit i look back like what the fuck yeah, happened I, like my, my shit's be doing numbers i'm like hey bro i'm with it bro fuck that I, yeah because I, I, it, it does get out to more people like i feel like at the moment like we, we're getting a taste of what it would be like to be verified what? blue because i feel yeah, like once they take because then Omega, they say only verified niggas are going to yeah, be able Omega, to you're not verified still are you no i'm not no. okay okay because all right because I thought, like, at first they'll be, like, pushing you out more because you have to check, but I don't have to check either. And if we're both getting, like, pushed like that, yeah, I'm, I don't I'm, know. Like, my tweets are, like, are, like, hitting spots I didn't, I've, they've never hit before. Yeah. Wait, you, you were verified, Omega? For, like, the meme I remember a while back, he, uh, he got <laughs> No, 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 yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? It's just something slight, you feel me? And, but then, like, once I saw that Elon was owning the platform, I was like, nah, bro, like, take me off that shit. Like, you, know. <laughs> you, you emailed him? Yeah. Did, you, did you cancel your subscription? Which one happened? I, I emailed him. I was like, I don't, I don't really want, you know, I want to stay uh, humble, you feel me? I, I want to still grind. You know, I, 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 still, I still want to have something to grind for, you feel me? So, like, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> but no, nice. uh, as, as far as the for you page is concerned, like I did start trying to intentionally manipulate it, and it was I was doing a good job of that. But what I've realized from my experimenting and like my just kind of fucking around with it is that if I'm not actively like trying to manipulate it, it then proceeds to start showing me a bunch of bullshit that I don't give a fuck about or want to see that it thinks I'm going to give a fuck about or want to see. Because yep. like I, w I was I was like I said I, I was gaming the system. I was having it just just funnel me like a bunch of fucking Naruto art. I mean, you niggas follow me. So if you've been seeing like a lot of the shit I retweet and stuff, like I was, I was intentionally like retweeting and liking stuff so that it would feed me more of that shit. So that if I did get forcibly put onto it or if I, you know, was on it without realizing whatever, I would see some cool shit. But when I'm not constantly doing that, it starts showing me shit that I don't give a fuck about. And I've had to start like muting accounts and blocking accounts and like muting words yeah. and shit. I'm like, bro, I don't care about this shit. Stop showing me this shit. I've had, and, I've had and I'm to... constantly like, even just now, I just clicked on my home button. I'm on the For You page. Dang, I don't want to be here. But regardless, <laughs> I, I've had to mute a lot of accounts oh too because God. for some reason, like, Twitter will think that like you just really dick ride this one guy you don't follow and I'm like bro I don't know little bro like take me off this shit so I gotta mute mad niggas especially like when, when the for you page shit first started happening these niggas must have thought the worst about me because I was getting Tate sneak bro like, yeah, yo like, Who the yo fuck is facts out here, bro? facts I had to, I had to, I had to holy block, shit I had to block fucking like Tate and Sneeko and shit because I'm like yo stop showing me these niggas I don't oh. want to see this bro bro yeah, Sneeko was all over my shit bro I muted yo, him and he still got through. I didn't even know how you he did that shit. Different than mine. I got beautiful chocolate went all over my shit. <laughs> Bro, Sneeko? Yeah, I, I, when, I, I when only I, got Sneeko, though. I didn't get Andrew Tay. I got Sneeko. Yeah, no, when I see women in my For You page, I know who put that there. Bro, I curated my shit. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop talking about these niggas. Twitter gonna Yo, like, oh, you like I, this? I'm gonna send you this. I gotta ask, too, like bro. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You posted a transition. At the time, bro, that nigga, bro, I saw that shit. Like, yo, this is godlike. The editor, when they made that shit, he's like, nah, they was bro, cooking in the studio. They that, was cooking. You, yeah, so the transition this nigga put, was it like, <laughs> I don't even know if it was a sex tape or some shit? Was it oh, some yeah. sex shit? Yeah, and then like, they they transition in like the Her woman's booty vagina, hole the booty warp. hole. Yes. Yeah, yeah, to like on some That's a Raven shit. Yup. Bro, I saw it, then I looked up and I saw Moon tweeted it, bro. And I was just so confused. I'm like, Moon, why? <laughs> just why? Yeah, that's shit. Sort of feel it. Y'all would get too comfortable on the timeline. I, 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 I was, bro. I was, bro. But one thing I will not get too comfortable of. That's that transition kind of ass. I, I'm leaving. Yeah, everyday oh, beam. What what won't you get too comfortable of? I don't I don't know, bro. I just I wanted to segue it, but I couldn't do it. I just didn't know how to do it. But Thank but to, what? To, to the ending to, to leaving the stream to, to what? Yeah, he's trying to end the podcast. Yeah, come on, uh, Nick. Like damn. I just scrolled through Moon's Twitter and you see it posted a picture of their newborn and he said he looked like a Koopa Trooper. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, um, Moon is crazy, uh, but, but before we wrap it up, Nick, did you want to talk about the thing, the Zelda okay. shit? Oh yeah. Oh oh. Shit. oh wait, what? Oh, the, the trailer. trailer. Oh, no, or do you no, 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 not, the, uh, not, not the trailer, not oh, the trailer, yeah, the uh, Nintendo like uh, YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Point curl, point point curl. His, uh, entire, his entire Zelda modded, I guess, video 
library just taken down by YouTube. That's tough. Nintendo. It, what they went past his Mata. They did like any Nintendo thing he touched, and even his some of his vanilla Nintendo shit. So some of his I mean, vanilla his Mario, Zelda shit. His like uh, Pokemon stuff, his uh, Mario stuff. Like all of his most of his videos are being taken down. Okay, so yeah. can, I, can I explain the backstory to how we got here? Good. Uh, first of all, y'all know me. I've been a Nintendo hater for a long time because of their YouTube policies. And it wasn't until a few years ago here. when they were like, you guys can't upload videos and we won't take all the money from them. But even now, if they decide they don't like you, they still get your shit like Point Crow got got. Anyway, for like years at this point, Point Crow and some people he knows have been working on a mod to make Breath of the Wild multiplayer. And he's been putting out videos on this, but he never released it. And I guess like as soon as he released it to the public, like you can mod your game with this. That's when Nintendo hit his shit. And they gave him two big strikes and blocked a bunch of his videos. But a lot so, of his shit is just gone. Before wow. I say what I'm about to say, obviously what Nintendo did is fucked up. They they go way too crazy with this power trip shit. And I hope to God that Point Crow gets all of his shit reinstated and his channel back in good standing. I'm, I am on Point Crow's side. That being said, you yeah. got to be a stupid motherfucker to like advertise for years that you're working on this like Breath of the Wild multiplayer thing when you know how litigious nintendo can be like that this does not seem very yeah, intelligent. Y'all forgot about Project M? Honestly, i'm gonna be honest with you i i kind of i kind of feel the exact same way because my thing is like we all for the last like 10 years if you've been around youtube for a while you know how open nintendo is with their games their ips they don't play that modded right end game bullshit if you try to make money off their shit no like oh you're, you're, yeah you're lucky to even get a video no you're, yeah you're lucky to make yeah, not money uh off this shit. Nick, you know you know how the Pokemon ROM hack game works. If you advertise your ROM hack too much, you get C and D before it releases. Yeah. Wait, really? Wow, I didn't I'm, know that. I'm blacklisted by the Pokemon company because I cover Pokemon ROM hacks and fan games. Damn. I'm, I, I actually talk to people at that company, and they're like, yeah, no, we can't Bro, run I will never understand how Nintendo can be the most anti-gamer gaming company of all time and still get their dick written so hard by gaming. Talk about yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's facts. Fucking like Bro, Nintendo fanboys go crazy. The they content creator ones, and they don't fuck with you. Like, yeah, Nintendo like they don't even like you. Does not fuck with y'all, but people ride for Nintendo so, so hard. Crazy. Splatoon it's is nuts. so good. And, it, and it's, <laughs> it's like, oh, bro. Uh, <laughs> I never get it though, because it's like you know we love we love Nintendo. Their games are okay. They're not fuck as the good as they used real. to be. But it's like, dog, like you're lucky to even get a video out and it not get taken down at all, or See, at least striked or mar. Like, I think, uh, for, I think for me, I feel, yeah, I feel so like, I feel so like torn because I actually do think Nintendo is make still to this day making some of the best games out there, um, but I hate everything about them as a company. Yeah, like, just, same. Like, same, and I'm currently playing Pokemon Stadium on one of the worst online services of all time on my Switch. So that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I am pirating everything. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, you know, I'm not I, gonna I, lie. Like I Nintendo niggas pirate. got worse Stockholm syndrome than anime fans. I'm 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 not gonna. True. Hold yeah. yeah. I mean, Pokemon's true. an anime game, so they they yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Had the double it. Yeah. I mean. Um, so how about but anyway, no. Nintendo S music video. To, to double back on that, if I'm allowed That's to be right. a hater for a minute, uh, and I feel like I feel like uh, Nick can vouch for this in the Pokemon community. How modders typically release shit normally, by the way, if I'm allowed to hate both sides a little bit, still on Point Crow's side, but how modders right. release shit typically is they either give you a trailer or two and then drop the whole thing, or they will release betas as they get betas done. And they'll tell you like, oh, this area doesn't work, or oh, we cut you off from this zone, or don't do this because it'll break the game, but they'll release the betas. Point Crow hung on to that shit to milk the YouTube for years because he was the only one with access to the uh, Breath of the Wild multiplayer. And so he kept hyping it up and kept saying, oh, you got to subscribe to the channel and stick around so that way you're here when I release the mod. And then he finally does it. The millisecond he releases the mod, his shit gets sniped, but... I've never seen the YouTube channel get Pokemon Uranium. That's exactly what happened. They, like they, they, like how Pokemon guys do it. Like they'll drop the trailer. Like, yeah. Like that, but like that ass. A lot of them now. A lot of the fan game developers in general. They dead ass lay low. You'll net. You'll probably get like a a, a poster image and an expected date when it's done, and they disappear off the face of the fucking planet, and you'll never see it again. You'll never see it. And they're like, damn. Okay, what happened here? Then when it's finally said, oh, hey, here's our four four hour long demo, they go right back into hiding because yeah. Nintendo's always watching. They literally give you one or two betas and they're quiet the whole rest of the time because if you poke your head out too much, Nintendo's going to bop you like a fucking whack-a-mole. And it sucks too because like, when <laughs> you do that, you, you, you lose a lot of hype and you lose a lot of potential players on your bullshit. But I feel like in Point Crow's situation, 
he's a big enough creator where like if he like shock dropped it or like maybe hinted at it once or twice and then dropped it i think it still would have done like really great i agree I just, how, how big is this guy been quiet. He's, he's got like a millions of subs i'm pretty sure on youtube yeah he's 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 big but i i just like again i'm on his side fuck nintendo all that but you gotta be dumb as hell to like advertise this for years and then be shocked when they do this like this is what they do yeah. Stockholm syndrome, bro. I'm telling you, Nick. Like Nintendo continues to fuck people over, and then people continue to be surprised when Nintendo fucks them over. I've been a Yuzu pirate for the last like four or five years. This nigga on his Luffy for a minute. And you know what's crazy <laughs> too? We by being dance, by baby. being a Yuzu pirate, you get a better experience than the nigga named me who buys the shit at full price. Hey, hear me out. Yeah, I can teach you. <laughs> y'all, uh, y'all, y'all remember when uh since this is being recorded i have no interest in that at all i will continue to play on my nintendo switch <laughs> oled hey y'all Yo, remember when my, y'all oh, remember when nick was right, pointing bro. out all the shit wrong with pokemon scarlet and violet nick and niggas were like yeah bro you're playing the pirated version da, 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 da. and then the game came out and it was had all the bro, same yeah, it, it was still it was <laughs> still the same <laughs> issue it came out and it, it was worse than his <laughs> Bro, <laughs> my dick, boy. Nintendo will give you guys the bare minimum. You guys are like, oh, thank you. I owe you my life. Like, bro, oh my <laughs> God. No, 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 no. Even the bare minimum would be an upgrade to what they give us sometimes. Like, let's be for real. <laughs> no, that let's, is facts. Be honest. <laughs> they really be cucking us, man. These niggas really didn't put an Ethernet port on the Switch dock. I'm still flabbergasted by that. Um, th- there is one in the Switch OLED dock if you want to buy that one. <laughs> I'm going to put... You're complaining about an issue that Nintendo already fixed. Hashtag I love Miyamoto. They created a problem and sold a solution. Thank you, Apple. Like, <laughs> made a bro. Yo, OLED is actually kind of gassed. I'm sorry. This little side. The OLED is I, can't I, I love bro. it. I love it, bro. I thought bro, my I Switch was... was broken a, a while back, and I was going to buy an OLED because my, my shit just would not turn on or charge. Eventually, I, I figured it out. But L Switch. Moon Switch is a ticking don't, time don't, bomb. Don't, and don't talk to me about that. Nigga, my Switch is Y'all bro. gave out. My shit worked. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like, right now, my shit. Moon, you cannot bring your Switch on a flight. You realize that, right? <laughs> you are right. <laughs> <laughs> your, your Switch is not making it through TSA. Mine's on battle <laughs> I'd be surprised if your Switch survived the car ride there. <laughs> Yo, so chat. Basically, Moon Switch has never turned off, and the battery is 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 looking like Choji, bro. BBL. Expansion oh, juicy. That's crazy. It's insane. Keep in mind, I got my Switch it at launch, so this, I have, like, one of the oldest Switches ever that existed and it's still working. Shit. Probably Nintendo for their, uh, their crafting shit, but they're... Yeah, I mean, I, I got mine. Nintendo so much, dude. I agree. Wait, Moon, I gotta ask, bro. Why why not turn it off? Like, what was the motivation behind <laughs> this? Nigga, not my fault they didn't put an automatic reset in their shit. Bro, just push, push bro, the button, nigga. Like, bro, like, what do you gain That's from effort. this? I mean, like, it's what do you like want? Int- the thing is, it's not like I intentionally, like, oh, let me not turn it off. It's just that, like, sometimes... I don't know, I just go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at this at this point it's intentional though. Like it's still like you know. Like, do you, don't you, you have to you have to turn off your computer? You have you turn off everything else, right? I so I, 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 I bet Moon doesn't turn I mean, off I, his computer. Well, you know, I don't turn my computer either. Uh, oh, I, so wow. A lot of nights, a lot of nights, I I render shit for like work and shit. So like I, I'll oh, have my shit running okay. overnight. This nigga's office is just six C fours. Uh, <laughs> bro, facts. That shit probably hot as fuck, bro. Everything running at maximum like capacity. <laughs> I mean, I, got, I mean, that's why he always in hoodies. <laughs> Well, I'm not in hoodie. <laughs> nigga, it's 80 degrees. Nigga, it's hot. Bro, let me see the titties, bro. My bad. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Sir? I, 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 you know, I did click the watch in your profile. I'm not going to hold you. You're I'm, a fucking... I me mean, too. Oh, this nigga dick no <laughs> better than me. <laughs> this nigga no better than me, bro. <laughs> I click so I got to be honest. I got to be honest, bro. <laughs> you are my daughter, but I love... Bro, listen. I <laughs> no. no moon. That's well, sick. Nice shorts you have on. I'm in your walls. And Lex was another topic that's coming out. Thank you guys for coming oh. to Everyday Beam Struggle. Where we do whatever the fuck we want. Fuck this. <laughs> what? I gotta go build my dining room table, bro. I just realized I haven't eaten and I want to eat on it. Like that's the last piece I need to feel like I have a house. Well, all right. Thanks you guys for watching. <laughs> for it is like, ten o'clock. Uh, yeah, it is ten o'clock. We trying to unplug. Yeah, man. Go build the table, bro. Yeah, come on, bro. We niggas are old in here. And niggas not like yep. you, bro. Back in my day, I used to be up all day on on Twitch like you. But you know, niggas, niggas Whoa. have gotten old, bro. Damn, he said you were young. Nigga, this is my first. You let him low, bro. You, bro, let me live. <laughs> nah, nah, facts. Though. But hey, love y'all, niggas. Um, I think goodbye, my babies. I think I'm a. Uh,